Hey, Sheryl Lazar here, and I'm talking to Trevor Blackwell. He's the founder of AnyBots. They're virtual robots that can represent you at work or anywhere else. And so tell people what this is. You released it this week. It has a lot of people talking, saying that this can replace people at work. And, and we see that AnyBot right there next to you. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't exactly replace people. It's, it's sort of representing you. So you can be at home, and the robot is in the office as your proxy. And so you can talk to people through it or, uh, you know, go look at things. You have access to the whole office. How does it work exactly? Um, it connects to the Internet over Wi-Fi and streams video and audio both ways. Um, and you can drive it. Uh, so from your laptop, you use a web browser um, and you just use a, the arrow keys to drive it around. So you sign in online. You have right. your AnyBot in your office or wherever, and mm -hmm. you can drive it from wherever you are at virtually. And can you talk through it? Or, I mean, it, it can literally represent yeah, you, you. Right. You talk through it, and you can have pretty natural conversations with people. Um, the, you know, the, the difference from video conferencing, it's a lot like video conferencing, but uh, it's not bolted to the wall of a conference room. So you can join conversations where the conversations are happening instead of telling everyone they have to come to the conference room on the days when you're working from home. So you can just move to people and surprise them as your robot self? <laughs> exactly. You can pop into people's cubicles, pester them for uh, things that are due. What made you want to come up with this? Well, I've been working from home uh, on and off for years, uh, and it's, it's difficult. You, know, you lose touch with the people at the office, and you sort of don't know what's going on. Um, so, you know, having, having a greater sense of belonging in the office and, and just knowing what's up is, is really valuable. But, I mean, looking at this thing right next to you, it's a robot. I mean, it's kind of laughable. Like, I would not take you seriously if you were roaming around my, uh, my office and you wanted to talk to me about something, and that thing was you. People seem to, to forget about the, the robot part of it uh, after a few minutes, you know, and, and, uh, and just relate to the, the person behind the robot. And, and so your picture comes up, it would come up in it, so you would see your face on the robot? Right. It shows a, a static picture of myself on days when I didn't bother to comb my hair, or I can show video uh, when I'm having a one-to-one -one conversation with someone. How are you hoping this will change the way we interact and live? Well, I f wish people would ha not have to spend so much time commuting. You know, people waste uh, an hour a day, at, at least, commuting, um, and, uh, you know, it burns up fossil fuels and uh, people aren't happy. You know, if you look at people on the highway, uh, not a lot of smiling commuters. <laughs> so why would people want to use this? Why would an employer let their employee or would they want to use this in the office? Because often the, the best people for the job don't happen to live in your town. You know, run, running a media company in New York, you know, you can hire people from New York, but you can't uh, hire people from, from Ohio or the rest of the world. Um, mm -hmm. And there's, there's lots of great talent that, you know, that isn't in the major cities, isn't where head office is. So this lets people you know, work from wherever they are, wherever they want to live. Do you think this scares some people in terms of seeing this is the way we're progressing and it not being person to person, but kind of robot or technology to technology? It, it does, um, you know, and, and I, we never want to completely replace meeting people in person. I mean, it, it's much better if you meet someone in person and then just do the day-to-day -day mundane things uh, through a robot. <laughs> like meet with each other and talk to each other. Right, and, you know, ask for the TPS reports for, for the week. Uh, you know, you, you don't really need a great deal of interpersonal interaction for that to work. So who are you seeing using this right now? Uh, I am, um, but uh, a, a number of our, our early customers uh, have, you know, global distributed companies. Um, you know, they have uh, engineering operations in California and manufacturing in Asia, for example. Um, and so the engineers are always having to fly back and forth, and it's, you know, hard on their relationships. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're really happy to have a way of, of being able to see what's going on in the factory um, without having to fly all the time. How much is this worth? Sells for 15000 shipping in the fall. Wow, 15000 and do you have to put it together or it just comes as is? No, it comes as is uh, pretty much if you have Wi-Fi, uh, you just turn it on and it works. All right, and where can people get more information about this? Uh, anybots.com, A-N-Y-B-O-T-S. So where are you hoping to see this in the future as things evolve? <laughs> um, all over. I mean, you know, anywhere where someone's... Uh, 
someone's flying for business, you know, we'd, we'd like to help them out. All right. Well, maybe I'll see an any bot in my office soon. It might be easier than seeing my boss in person, right? <laughs> Not Sometimes. scary. Right? I, I, think, I think my guys like it better. <laughs> Unless they can be like secretive and pretend they're hiding out as a robot. And overhearing my conversations. All right. <laughs> I think there's a whole new generation of, of kick me assigned jokes uh, to be put on the back of robots. <laughs> All right. Great. Well, best of luck. Uh, check out anybots.com for more info. Thank you. Thank you.